Hi, welcome to The Shed. My name is Mr. Levy, and this is the One A Day Musicianship Challenge brought to you by Bob Rogers Travel. For today's challenge, we are going to be playing 1, 2, 3, 5 digital patterns on top of 2, 5, 1 chord progressions. The 2, 5, 1 chord progression is one of the most commonly found harmonic movements in music. We can identify 2, 5, 1 chord progressions by a couple of things. The first thing we should be looking for is a 2 is a minor chord, a 5 is a dominant chord, and a 1 is a major chord. The other thing we can look at is the roots. The roots should all be a fourth apart. If you don't know your 2, 5, 1 chord progressions, that's okay. We can use the circle of force to easily identify the 2, 5, and 1 in any key. The way we're going to do that is first we're going to look at the circle of force. Then we want to identify the root of the one chord in the particular key we're thinking about. Let's use C for example. So C is the one chord. What is the two on the key of C? So we look at the second scale degree. The second scale degree in C is D. Then we're going to look at the fifth scale degree. That's a G. So when we go back to the circle of force, we can see that D G and C are all next to each other on the circle of force. So if we look at any three particular notes that are next to each other on the circle of force, that's going to be how we can identify our two five ones in that particular key. So one thing I would do before I would go and try and play these, I would figure out what are the roots of every two five one in every key. Identify those, then figure out what are those digital patterns that will work on those chords. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play those. If you haven't figured them out, go ahead and figure those out, then jump back in at this point in the video. We're going to play the 251 chord progression, one, two, three, five digital patterns on each one of those chords. Let's go. Now that you've played those at a slow tempo, go ahead and continue to practice them, master them, and work them up to uh, fast tempos where you don't even have to think about what those notes are in those particular keys. So get practicing, and we'll see you in the shed. 